Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio. In this particular demo, we're gonna take a look at the Unity Nav Mesh. And then we're gonna set up Playmaker to allow us to click to then move our character using the Nav Mesh agent. If you're ready to start things moving, let's go. I need to first start off by giving our character or our player some place to walk, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start by easily adding a 3D game object of a plane. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just build some objects that my player needs to move around. And an easy way to do that would be to go ahead and use ProBuilder. So I have ProBuilder installed and my ProBuilder window I have currently docked with my hierarchy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my top view here and then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a new poly shape, okay? So this is just going to allow me to just create some areas that I can have my player move around some kind of wall type system. There we go. So we have that set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit editing. And then I wanna set this up so that it extrudes out to maybe one meter. So you can see the walls right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just create a material real quick. And so create a new material. So I can place on my walls. So let's go call this wall underscore mat. And let's just drag that right onto our walls and we'll just leave it as white. That's perfectly fine. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and create our character. So or our player. And I wanna just create that with a 3D game object. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use a cylinder as my player, okay? And let's just go ahead and rename this as player. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and create a material for this player as well. So let's go and create a material and we'll just call this player. And let's go ahead and drag that onto our player. And then I also wanna go ahead and change the color of this just so we have it different from our walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and just have the player be a little bit on the orange side. And I think that works perfectly well. Okay, so let's go ahead and just move our player over here. All right, now that I have that set up, I need to go ahead and start setting up my nav mesh, okay? So the nav mesh is uh, built into Unity and it allows me to go ahead and say what areas of my space are walkable and what's not. So the first thing I need to do is to go ahead and open up my window and then AI navigation. And so currently I have it up here docked within my uh, inspector bar. And you can see that I've got a couple different tabs here, agents, areas, bake, and object. So the objects that I wanna include in the nav mesh, I need to go ahead and select those. So here's my poly shape. Let's go ahead and just relabel this as walls and my plane. And I'm gonna mark those as navigation static, okay? So that means, and then we can set up if those are walkable, not walkable, and we wanna, wanna have those go ahead and be walkable. All right, so now that we have that set up, we need to go ahead and go over to the Bake tab, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose Bake. And so you can see that this automatically chooses uh, in the blue area, what's walkable and what's not. So Unity is gonna use this walkable area of where we can move our character within our space. Okay, so we've got that set up. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and go to our player. So with our player, let's go back to our inspector tab. We need to go ahead and set our player up so that we have a nav agent attached. So we're gonna go to add component and then you can see I already have nav mesh agent selected, but if you just type in nav, then you'll see nav mesh agent, and that's the component we're gonna go ahead and attach. And if we take a look at this, you can see here's some information. There's base offset. We can change the speed, angular speed, acceleration, so on and so forth. So these are numbers that you can go and play with depending on how you want your game to fill, okay? So we have that set up. Next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and with our player selected, we're gonna set up a Playmaker FSM. So I'm gonna go ahead and add FSM. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and check if our mouse is down, okay? So we're gonna use clicking within the nav mesh to move our character. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get mouse down. 
Okay. And we need to go ahead and add an action to that. So let's go ahead and add a get mouse button down. And then we're going to say, hey, which button do you want to use? And then also we're going to send an event if we do click on that button. Okay. So we're going to use our left button and I need to create a new event. So mouse button down. So it's saying, hey, you don't have that transition. So let's go ahead and add it. And so we're going to go ahead and drag over to a new state. And we'll call this mouse clicked. And then we also need to go ahead and choose if this has been picked or not. OK, so we're going to do what's called a mouse pick. OK, so we need to go ahead and the first option that we need to pick here is store did pick object. So did we select an object or did we not select an object? So here we're going to store this in a new variable. We'll call this picked test. If we did pick a point, let's go ahead and then we're going to store it. Now we're going to create a new variable here and this is going to be a vector three. So if I go ahead and click new variable, it's going to choose already the type of variable that we need to create. So here we're going to go ahead and we'll call this target location. All right. And then you can see in my debug version right here, I have a 0, 0, 0. So that's given us a vector three location. All right. So we have we're doing a bool that's checking to see if we did pick something. And then if we did, we're going ahead and storing that location, that vector three location in a new uh, variable called target location. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and do a bool test. Because if we didn't pick a location, then we want to go back to our mouse down, get mouse down. OK, so what we're going to do is do a bool test because this variable right here, store did pick object. Let's go into our variables is a bool. So we can do a bool test. And right here, bool test. And we're going to make sure that's after our mouse pick. So we're going to do bool variable and picked test. If it's true, then we want to go to a new event. OK, so I'm going to go. Go, let's let's call this move to target. OK, and I need to actually add a new transition here and then we're going to go off to a new state. OK, let's move that down here and then we'll call this move to target. All right. OK, so now if we did, um, if it's true, we're going to move to target. If it's false, we want to go back to get mouse down. So we're going to re-listen to if our mouse has clicked. OK, so we'll go ahead and do a get mouse down and we need to go ahead and add that state. And we're just going to go back to our get mouse down. OK, so here in the beginning, we're checking to see if we clicked our mouse down. If we did, we're using a mouse pick, finding the location. If it did pick a location that's on our plane, then we're going to store the location, the vector three. If we did, then we're going to go to move to target. If we didn't, we're going to go back and recheck to listen for the mouse down a bit. All right. Now that we have that set up, let's go over to our move target. The next thing we need to do is to go to the ecosystem. So what we're going to do is go to add on ecosystem, ecosystem browser. And what we're going to search for is path. I think it's pathfinding. Yeah, pathfinding. So I already have this installed, but if you don't, you can go ahead and download it. So I've already imported this and it's already compiled and added these, these actions to my Playmaker set. And now that we have those installed, what we can do is we can go and set agent destination. Okay, so we're gonna add set agent destination. And with that, it's saying, okay, what game object is it that we want to move? We're going to go ahead and move our owner. So that's the, the Playmaker FSM is attached to our player. So we want to move the owner. And then the destination, we've got a vector three. We've stored that vector three as a destination, a vector three destination. So we've got target location right here. When path pending done event, we can just go ahead and send this back to our get mouse down. That way, if we want to click again, we can go ahead and click again to a different location. So we're going to go ahead and get mouse down because I already have the action. We're going to go ahead and 
I already have that state and then I can click on that and move this back to or transition this back to our get mouse down. So we've got a nice little loop. So here we're getting our mouse down. If we've clicked, let's go over here. We're doing it bool. And then we're also storing the location of where we clicked in a vector three. Then we're doing a bool test. If we did click somewhere, then let's go ahead and go to move target. If we didn't, then we're gonna go ahead and go back to get mouse down. So if we did, then we're gonna to go to move target and we're setting our agent destination. So this is the location of where we want our player to move. So let's go ahead and give this a play real quick and see how it works. So I'm gonna click on the opposite side of my wall and my player should move around my wall. There we go. There's using the nav mesh agent with Playmaker. Now this is definitely a tutorial that you can use. Again, if you like these tutorials, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. And please don't forget to share. Until next time, peace.